welcome to Hardware Husky. Today we'll be looking at Asus ROG Strix 5700 XT graphics card and how we can fix the thermal performance on it. This graphics card belongs to a friend of mine and he's had it for a couple of months now and it's been slowly getting warmer and warmer on the GPU temperatures so we decided to fix it after seeing a few articles on YouTube. First let's have a look what's inside the box. You get a little paper folder with a manual in it. Yeah, it's a couple of manuals. And a thank you card for purchasing a product. Okay, nothing special. Bit of waste of card. What do we have here? We have a couple of Asus uh, Velcro straps. And we have the graphics card. It's a free fan 2.7 slot design requires two 8-pin power connectors, has three display ports and a HDMI connector. It has a nice back plate with an RGB logo. It has a silent BIOS and performance BIOS and a button to turn the RGB on and off. Okay, for this fix, we're gonna need some two millimeter nylon washers, some high quality thermal paste, We've decided to use Cryonaut for this one. And I got some M.2 screws, but these weren't needed in the end because we decided to use the washers instead of using the shorter screws. Okay, to begin with, we got to get all the screws out. Let's go around the outside and take off the uh, screws, I suppose. There's not too many screws on this graphics card, so it uh, doesn't take too long. And keep in mind, I removed the four screws on the outside of the GPU retention screws. They didn't need to be removed as they hold the base plate onto the graphics card. When cleaning the thermal paste off the GPU die, be careful not to catch any of the SMDs with a cloth, as this could ruin your graphics card. And you don't really want to do that, so just take your time when cleaning it off. Be careful, don't put too much pressure on it. Okay, when applying the paste, you can't really apply too much as long as your paste is non-conductive and non-capacitive. So give it a good amount and put the heat sink back on. When putting this card back together on the VRM screws, we stuck about three nylon washers on to shorten the screw down. You could have used the shorter M.2 screws, but this way seemed better. And we do it up quite tight to give a nice amount of pressure on. We did the same for the GPU retention screws. Just leave a couple of washers on there and put the screws back in nice and tightly. Hopefully this will fix the temperature of the uh, graphics card. So the, basically the six screws that you need to worry about is the four GPU retention one and the VRM heatsink ones that need the washers. The rest just hold the uh, cool on. They're not as important. So we just screw the screws back in and see how it goes. Uh, so overall, this fix takes around 20 odd minutes. It costs around, say, six or $7 to fix. You just need some nylon washers and some new thermal paste. You could have done this without new thermal paste and just replaced the wa put the washers behind the screws as this would be a lot cheaper and a lot easier way. And you could do it without even touching the um, warranty stickered screw. But we wanted to do a thorough job so we just did it this way. And we will see how we get on with the cooling temperatures. Okay, let's have a look at the before and after. Okay, here's some footage of temperatures before the GPU fix. It was hovering around 79 degrees, peaking at around 81 degrees. And this was quite warm and very noisy. And this is some footage of the GPU temps after the fix. It was hovering around 66, 67 degrees, 
think it might have peaked at 68 degrees. Overall, this is around a 13 degree C temperature drop. So, my friend was pretty pleased with this. And other benefit was the fans were spinning a lot slower, so it was a lot n less noisier. Overall win, I suppose. Okay, to summarize this, this is a relatively cheap fix. If you've got the thermal paste already, all it needed was some nylon washers and about 20 minutes of your time, and you could reduce temperatures down to about 13 degrees C. Overall, it was a very good fix, and my friend is very happy with it. And thank you for watching Hardware Husky. Please like, subscribe, and comment below, and I hope I'll see you again.